We are gonna start day two of the WiseFab install. Last night we had quite a shocker when we found out that the frame and subframe of the Z was actually bent. So it took us quite a while to get around that and to get the lower control arm on, but now that it is on, we should be maybe about one to two hours out from finally finishing this WiseFab kit. We didn't clean anything up from last night, so it is quite an atrocity here. The whole one side being on the other side, the, the offset bushing, the shorter one was here to begin with, and then the longer one was here. I, we had, we were debating about an offset spacer for a reason. How it would change the geometry of this is a fixed length. The bushings are this distance to- The next step that we gotta do is we gotta put this knuckle back on. Yesterday we put like the rotor housing on once it was already on the car and we discovered that it was much easier to assemble it while it was off. But at the moment, we're having a little bit of concern because we feel like these tie rods might have been cut just a little bit too short. We did the measurements yesterday for the steering rack which gave us how much to cut off of the tie rods, and we did it correctly, but we both have some slight concern that they may be too short, we're not quite sure yet. Meaning that when we turn the steering wheel, we sometimes like max out the steering rack before we hit full lock, which would not be good, because that means if we cut these too short, I don't even know what kind of tie rods these are, I'll have to look it up, but we might have to order new it ones. Can be, it could be literally anything, you can even buy the PVM ones, or we could take the PVMs off. I don't think so, I don't think they're universal. These look way shorter though. They probably are way shorter, but um... Yeah, the rod portion is much, much shorter. Oh, it's different. Yeah, so hopefully we didn't do that too short. So I just did a full lock-to-lock -lock test with the wise hub all hooked up. Whereas before, when I was on the PBM, to go to full lock, I had to turn the wheel about two times to reach full lock aside. Now with the new WiseFab kit, I only turn the wheel one full rotation before I hit lock. So that means this kit is like essentially twice as responsive with steering. That's pretty damn cool. We need to adjust the toe out on the right side because it's way off right now. We have like so much toe out and this is at zero, but we're probably gonna do the best we can just by our own eyesight and measuring and doing like an eye alignment. But once that's done, we're gonna drop the car and we should be all set and ready to go. So unfortunately, our fear came true and these tie rods are just a hair too short, which sucks. I've been like pulling my hair out trying to figure out what tie rod this is. WiseFab doesn't have it listed in their spare parts on their website. And to my understanding, it's either a 1999 Celica inner tie rod, which no one in any store location or Toyota carries that in stock. So we'd have to order that um, like by the end of today to hopefully get it within a couple days. I mean, I got a couple messages saying it could be a Nissan Maxima inner tie rod. So they have that in stock at AutoZone. So we're gonna run there right now and bring this and see if the Nissan Maxima Maxima matches the thread pitch and the length and if it does we'll get super lucky and we can replace this and have it working today As I mentioned earlier, I have someone coming on Friday to align the car So I would ideally would like to get the tie rod situation figured out by tomorrow Which puts us in a very very tight window. So we need to get moving quick. All right So we're at AutoZone right now checking Duralast sizes the Maxima was literally the same length what we just had So rather than just like searching or searching at random cars They actually just let us in the back and we're just trying to measure tie rods because the tie rod's a pretty universal part. It's just a matter of the length. So long story short, we're playing major part starts and trying to figure out tie rods that are longer than what we already have and just opening brand new boxes. <laughs> is that it? That's it, baby. How much longer is it? Uh, it's about a half inch. A little more than a half inch, probably. Oh, it looks like is it the same? Th thread pitch is the same, everything is the same. Wow. This is her. We literally just checked. All the top so many of these boxes. <laughs> this is right up here. Damn. Can I get both of them? Yeah, let's pick those up. For everyone trying to find so we need to out what spares. ES3533. I don't know what that's to, but. So we just made a new discovery. It's making tons of discoveries with this new WiseFab kit. We just lowered the car for the first time and the inside of the wheel literally makes contact with the top of the A-arm right here. Like you can kind of see it from this angle. It's full on touching and we are poking out right now like quite a bit. So we're gonna throw on more than that, dude. We're gonna want... Just a 10 million. I feel like we should push like 20. No, 10 minutes. Because you, you don't want to run like a, a, like a little bit of space. It's going to hit. I mean, 
your wheel and that spot are fixed together. Like they move on the same plane. Long story short, those tie rods we thought were gonna work, they ended up not working, and then I just contacted Fuel Suspension and they're actually overnighting me new tie rods tonight. So I'll have that tomorrow morning. So we wasted a whole bunch of time trying to source some new tie rods. That happens, part starts didn't work, but we have the new ones coming and this time we'll be sure not to cut them too short. Kind of a rookie move, but it is what it is. All I have to do now is put the subframe brace back on and we should be good to go. What makes you think this is a good idea? Oh my god. Calvin, if that hits the beer Z, I'll be so, what do you mean? You're gonna hit the ceiling. Stand it. Yes! What do you plan? Is that just storage? I mean, I guess it works. I don't know how we're gonna get stuff up there. <laughs> These are the racks that we bring when we do pop-up shops. And rather than just having them stack and collapse on the ground, I guess that makes a better idea. It's better than before, I guess. Yeah, all on the floor, yeah. And now we can actually store stuff on it. I said it once and I will say it again. I am so in love with this truck. I never thought I would like a car that isn't fast and isn't low to the ground, but something about just having all that torque and being a big monster truck and having all these like nice luxury features, it's super nice. I have a slight understanding of the truck scene.